Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to talk about new metal. The band is Tool and the bass player is of course Justin Chancellor. I'm gonna start this video with a quote from Bass Player magazine. Tool's secret ingredient may well be Justin Chancellor. Whether he's grooving with the drums, doubling a melody with the guitar, or reacting to the vocal line, Justin's thick mid-range tone, guitar style techniques, and elastic versatility are the most grounded components of new metal's loftiest band. When listening to Tool, the first thing that really catches my attention is in fact the bass guitar, and for two main reasons. First of all, the tone. Bright, dirty, but defined and unique, Chancellor's tone really stands out in the mix, adding an unusual texture that you rarely find in a metal band. There are already a lot of videos and articles about Justin Chancellor and his gear, so we're gonna focus on the second reason, which is his unconventional use of the instrument. In rock and metal music, the bass guitar tends to focus on low frequencies to provide a solid bass for the guitars and the vocals. But in Tool, the bass guitar gives priority to unusual techniques, such hammer-ons, arpeggios and chords, and we rarely hear it pedaling or just playing root. The parts, however, are not overcomplicated or very technical demanding, so how come they sound so cool? Here's a few reasons. Number one, it's all about the D string. Most of the music of Tool is recorded in drop D tuning, which is a standard tuning with the E tuned down to D. Tuning down to D not only means a deeper sound, but it gives you access to a number of very interesting solutions. For example, you can use the low D as a pedal tone. On top of the drop D tuning, Chancellor seems to be obsessed with the open D string, which he uses all the time. So using two open D strings is key to Justin Chancellor's style, and the combination of the two gives you access to the Super Chancellor Power Chord. Number 2. Chords. Speaking of chords, Chancellor makes a large use of them, which contributes big time to the unusual sound of the rhythm section of Tool. Though playing chords here and there is no news to rock bass, Justin uses them consistently, making them the main element of many of his riffs. So if regular bass lines only use one string at a time, The double or triple layer of bass strings in the music of Tool gives the band a unique texture, adding both a melodic and rhythmic element. Number 3. Arpeggios. Arpeggio is another technique that is normally used on guitar, and applied to a bass can sound really interesting. Though not particularly demanding when played on a guitar, arpeggios can be pretty challenging on bass due to the size of the strings. Number 4. Harmonics. Once again, this is a technique normally reserved for guitar, mostly because harmonics played on a bass tend to sound muddy, but due to his bright and mid-range dance sound, Chancellor can pull out some very interesting sounds that he uses for atmospheric parts. Number 5. Forget 4-4. Four, four. Tool are famous for using unusual and odd time signatures, and one of the main features that make Chancellor's bass lines so original and memorable 
is that they are played on time signatures other than 4-4. If you make a list of your favorite bass lines, chances are 90% or more use a 4-4 time signature. I actually made a Spotify playlist with my 50 favorite bass lines of all time and all of them use a 4-4 time signature. 4-4 is the most used time signature in music and it's easy to remember and easy to understand for the brain and for the body. Have you ever tried to dance over a song in 1116? But Chancellor takes the game to a whole new level, making odd time signatures like 5-8 or 7-8 very appealing to the ear. There are many more elements in the style of Justin Chancellor, such as the vast use of effects such wah and delay, or the use of hammer-ons and pull-offs, like in the intro of The Grudge. The music of Tool is very complex and the peculiarity of its rhythm section is certainly one of the elements that set them apart from the majority of metal bands. To sum it up, Justin Chancellor is an awesome bass player and I hope this video gave you the basic to go explore his style furthermore. Thank you for watching, please check out my latest music video, don't forget to leave a comment and follow me on Instagram.